What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I've been thinking long and hard about this video because I wanted to share some personal stories with you guys and just give a recap of what I've been up to and the things that have been going on in my life, both positive and negative. And it's something that I want to do because obviously I share quite a lot of my life with you guys. You've experienced um, the streams with me sometimes a little bit chaotic with <laughs> um, how the the days go on but um, they are always awesome to be able to experience these moments with you guys and to share my life with you guys because that's a decision I made I mean obviously I went on this journey to inspire and motivate people as well as to share my sporting passion um, sport has been my love for all my life I've played a um, few sports cricket and soccer mainly being the ones in school um, then obviously stopping soccer because I just wasn't at the right height to continue went on to play cricket throughout to my matric year and um, it was an interesting year for me because obviously being announced as captain I did have a, a big fall um, with the, the school issues um, one disciplinary uh, action that took a big knock in my life but um, I, I came back from it I bounced back from it um, and I proved what it can be done. You make a mistake in your life which affects someone, it will affect you, it affects those around you, but you come back and you make a success story. I ended the year, started the year and on not on a good term. Um, I was a prefect, ended up unfortunately losing it uh, due to irresponsible behavior, but I fought every day since then to come back from it. I ended up admitting my fault, which led to respect earned from my schoolmates and colleagues um, and teachers and I bounced back and I ended up winning an award of good fellowship so it just shows you hit a setback in your life you come back and you you keep fighting you never let these setbacks get the best of you um, and that's a very personal story that not many people know and I'm sharing it with you because I want to share this journey of my life with you guys then it went from uphill. I studied varsity, went great. I played action cricket, captained that too. It was best times of my life. I became a student, had the student life, both part of team and normal life and all that jazz, but I was on track. Started my working career in retail, then grew to VW, which was the greatest experience of my life and I grew and developed and that became the working side and again ignited sporting passion because I was involved in sporting activities at Volkswagen and, and helping grow there. I then unfortunately didn't get um, continuing on the internship due to um, budget reasons so unfortunately was unemployed for seven months and during those seven months I could have decided to feel sorry for myself but I didn't. Um, finding a job was hard but eventually I did get one, but in that time became the creation of Walking Tall with G-Man, where I got into this journey and I've never looked back. Through that, I've had two career changes, all in digital marketing, but it's something that I love doing and I've only changed the careers in order to develop. And Walking Tall has been a great momentum for me and it's given me the confidence and the boost and um, definitely a sense of, I could say popularity in a way because so many people are looking up to me and, and are, are following certain examples that I've set from an inspirational point of view to sharing my story and all that jazz. But in that time, obviously, I've been on a, a very big high when I've been confident, sometimes overconfident. I've never been arrogant, but I've always been grateful and humble for everything that I've achieved. And I know it's it's taken a lot of work and sacrifice because you dedicate time um, from your after work life. That's like I literally arrive, create content, and get much time with the family because you you you're constantly working. But it's a decision I made in order to do this. In the time of the past, I'd say year, I've from 2019 to 2018, I've been on the greatest journey of my life because this channel has just taken off. I mean, the streaming began, the interactions with you guys began and became stronger. A lot of subscribers became friends. Um, I've, I've met people at sports games, even at the cricket last night. Gee, man, can we take a photo? And those are all memorable times. But in those times, in the past six months, I, I lost myself a bit. And when I say I lost myself, I allowed myself to 
to go out a bit too much and to to go out and, and drink and uh, party a bit too hard where I turned, tended to, to lose my way. It was always in my local place where I knew I'd be safe and protected, but then I would have the odd gallivant experience where you go out to certain places. And um, yeah, it just, it just got a bit of a hand coming home late and all that stuff. And although I still kept the, the motto of inspiring and motivating people, I learned that if, if, if I had been stupid and someone cruel who wants to maybe, is either jealous of my image or wants to just stuff around with me, could take a photo and it could dent my career. And that's something that came about to me not too long ago, where friends have, have, have spoken to me um, in the past three months, just saying, gee, don't you think I should calm down? And at times I didn't listen, um, but I knew they were right. And I, I made the decision about four weeks ago to, to just sit back a bit. And then unfortunately, you guys who watched it, I know I've privated that video because I'm a bit embarrassed, but I want to be a man and talk about it. Um, the stream that happened last week um, with the Stormers game, um, we were out um, and um, had a few drinks and obviously I was a little bit um, under the influence at the time. And um, my actions were, were shown. I was swearing, swirling a bit um, and I wasn't really looking the part of an, a role model and I just wanted to create this video to apologize for my actions then. Um, you know, when you're under the influence, you tend to do things you do not mean or say things you do not mean. And um, to the people in my life, my closest friends, to my family who have always been with me through thick and thin, who have motivated me to keep going, I want to just thank them and publicly also apologize to them for a little bit of the chaos that I've caused. Yes, I've been keeping going and I've been gymming and I've been trying to eat well, but you know, you do all this stuff, but if you still go out, you still have beers, you still drink the odd brandy or two, you, you, you're not doing any benefits for yourself. And I've decided to take a step back from today, or well, from actually yesterday, I, only had, I didn't even have a drink at the, sorry, I lied, I had one at the cricket and to step back and to stop rebuilding my mindset and 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 do what I love but do it responsibly and in a better light and action. I'm making this public because I want it to be known. I want it I want you guys to know me. I am only human. I make mistakes in my life. I make decisions that are phenomenal and great, but I also make decisions that are silly. And I need to grow and learn from them. And that I wanted to share personally with you all. There are seven or eight important people in my life from friends who have been with me through thick and thin and who, who are my life, you know, some of them as a sock squad. Um, and they've really been my rock. They've been on every stream nearly. They've been some have been with me for 20 years since grade three in school, others for 10 years this year. I've got an amazing support group and I'm very grateful to them and I thank them for keeping me going. The streams will continue, the brides will continue sharing it with you, but I will be more responsible and I will take better responsibility and be the role model that I should be to many people. To those who have experienced those tough moments with me, to those I apologize, but there's also been phenomenal moments. There's been more great moments in my life than negative, but I've decided to make it positive and acknowledge what I've done in the past and focus on what is important. I will be better because I already am, but I will continue to motivate and inspire people to never give up. Thank you so much for the love and support. Thank you for being my rocks. Without you subscribers, without you friends, without my family, I'm no one and I'm truly grateful. I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and I hope that you can forgive me those who have been affected and for those who have inspired, I hope to continue inspiring you and sharing my message with you. Stay safe, never give up. Cheers.